Well, this is Positive Christianity. And Positive Christianity is a lifestyle. It is about going beyond negativity all the time, as much as you can. Sam Jones has said, It takes less to criticize than to do anything else. Have you noticed how many people live their lives in criticism? They, I watched the news the other day, a political show, and that's all they did was criticize one side or the other. In Luke 6, 37, it says, Don't pick on people. Don't jump on their failures. Criticize their faults. Unless, of course, you want the same treatment. Don't condemn those who are down. That hardness can be a boomerang. Be easy on people. You'll find life a whole lot better. From experience, we know that it's easier to criticize than to correct. And we know that it's easier to find faults than solutions. Yet to criticize others remains a powerful temptation of the lower human mind. But as faith-filled believers, we should endeavor to break the twin habits of negative thinking and critical speech. Negativity is highly contagious. It is like a virus. We give it to others who, in turn, give it right back to us. But this cycle can be broken. It can be broken by positive thoughts, heartfelt prayers, and encouraging words. As thoughtful servants of a loving God, we can use the transforming power of God's love to break the chain of negativity. Today, break those chains by showing kindness, and by offering comfort rather than criticism. 